Well, this year here in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the 105th annual American Farm Bureau Federation convention, there were quite a few familiar faces from across America included in this year's guest list. Thousands and thousands of faces to be more precise. However, there was also a few new faces at the convention and it's fun to get to visit with one of those new faces. Uh, certainly not a new face to those folks back in the cowboy state of Wyoming, but maybe a new face here at the American Farm Bureau Federation convention Vance Broadbent from that southwestern part of the Cowboy State. Of course, back home, as I mentioned, you are truly a leader in the livestock industry and, and with some other organizations. But talk about why you decided to come to Salt Lake this year. So, yeah, this is my first time attending the American Farm Bureau Convention. I've been involved in, in Wyoming stock growers, Utah cattlemen's, Wyoming wool growers, Utah wool growers. Uh, we've been attending our local Farm Bureau County meetings uh, for a few years and with this meeting being so close to home we thought you know that might as well come and be a part uh, Farm Bureau has a lot of good things going on the the extent of it I don't know about because I haven't been that involved so it's been fun to come and see uh, how involved and how big uh, Farm Bureau's reach really is well I mean it I mean, power truly comes in numbers, and, and the more voices that we can get involved, whether it's Farm Bureau or the American Sheep Industry Association or back home in states like Wyoming, the stock growers and wool growers and, and Farm Bureau, of course, that's just all the more power and more voices to help keep our message alive and moving forward. Sure. Yeah. And, and a, a lot of uh, cross issues, issues affect all of the different organizations. And so I think the more they work together and, and address these issues, the, the stronger the voice becomes. You know, I've been visiting with some other uh, attendees about key agricultural issues, you know, things like waters of the U.S., of course, the new farm bill that we hopefully get sure. sooner rather than later versus just an extension. But for livestock producers like yourself, uh, you know, making sure that you still have access to America's federal lands is also a key priority. So, for sure, yes. And, you know, locally in, in Wyoming, we're dealing with the Rock Springs uh, RMP resource management plan uh, that could be devastating to our industry and other industries. And it was, it was good to see that Farm Bureau, along with ASI and, and, the, and the cattle organizations, are on top of that and aware of what's going on. Yeah, especially considering we've kind of had a mind uh, shift change in this current Biden administration versus where we just were a few years ago with the Trump administration when everything that has to deal with public lands, whether it's Forest Service or BLM, and of course last year at this time, you know, the BLM dropped dropped the bomb on all of us regarding their conservation rule that they were, sure. you know, wanting to maybe move forward with. Right, yeah, and all these organizations need to work together and push back uh, on those overreaching regulations. You know, Vance, let's just wrap up. You know, regulatory issues are always top of mind for farmers and ranchers like yourself. And, and of course, for, for those of us in the West, you know, a big one is the Endangered Species Act and, and, and trying, hopefully before we die, maybe to get some sort of reform. So, sure, and that's been discussed here and, and I've appreciated the comments from their, their government policy people you know, on how they're pushing back on some of those things and trying to get some common sense in some of these issues. Well, common sense is always get good. It doesn't always come easy for lawmakers, and that's why we need more folks like Vance and so many others, not just from the West, but across America, to pay your dues, get involved with something, and make sure your voice remains heard and is heard loud and clear every day on America's most essential industry, agriculture.